But first, developing at five, a mystery surrounding a Daytona Beach apartment fire. Detectives are trying to figure out who killed a mother of three before setting fire to her home. The flames also killing an 11 month old baby who was found in a crib and sending two other kids to the hospital. I'm Lisa Bell. Glad you're with us tonight. I'm Matt Austin. We first brought you this story on the morning news. Daytona Beach firefighters were called to the countryside apartments. That's just off Bevel Road, not far from South Nova Road. News 6's Molly Reed is live near the scene for us tonight. So Molly, do we know anything about these victims? Not just yet. Police say they are not releasing the identities just yet as they look for that possible suspect. But police and fire departments both told us earlier today that this was one of the most heart wrenching battles that they have ever fought in a case and on a scene here um, in their careers. And again, now they're trying to look for that suspect to find out who stabbed the mother and who set fire to the home. Um, according to the state fire marshal's report, there were two points of origin and being that that's not the normal when there is a fire. That's what's leading investigators to believe the fire was intentionally set. Neighbors calling 911 as the flames grew, trying to help the family late Monday night. No, there's flames. There's flames coming out. Okay. So, um... I'm just trying to get to the other apartments to knock on the doors and get people out. Investigators say inside firefighters and police found a woman who had been stabbed multiple times and three young children. They say the baby was found in a crib and taken to the hospital where it later died. The four and the five year old are over at Shan's hospital receiving treatment. Uh, but they are still alive, but uh, in critical condition. Chief Chikar Young says one officer who ran into the home was treated for smoke inhalation. Now he says detectives are working to track down a possible suspect. I'm very proud of all the officers that initially responded to the scene, as well as all fire and medical personnel, just their bravery to be able to go in and, you know, do their best to save lives because if it were not for their their actions, there probably would have been more lives lost. And now police are not releasing any details just yet about that possible suspect or even telling us just yet if they have any leads on that person. In Daytona Beach, Volusia County, I'm Molly Reed getting results, News 6.